So we are going to solve problem 3.36 of study group book. So we are asked to find I1, I2, and I3 using mass analysis. Mass analysis is the same as loop analysis. So let's start by you by setting the loops. Let's make this first loop and this one is second loop. And I will name this loop as loop A and this one as loop B. And we will start by using KVL. So KVL at loop A. KVL said that the sum of the voltage in the loop is equal to zero. So we will start by uh, at loop A and it will pass three components, this voltage source here, this resistor here, and this resistor here. So what can we do here is we start from this voltage source it's, and it flows from this one to this one and the sign here is negative to positive so it's minus 12 volt plus 4 ohm here. Uh, this is 4 ohm and to get into volt we need to multiply it by the current the current of the loop here so this one for the current loop of A and then the last component here 6 ohm and 6 ohm we need to multiply it by something multiply it by the current but remember the current here it is I A but also have IB here so it will be the difference between the current A and the current at B and this will equal to 0 and let's do some simple algebra here minus 12 plus 4 IA plus 6 IA minus 6 IB and that will equal to 0 I can move this 12 to the right hand side and I can sum this. So 10 IA minus 6 IB is equal to 12. And let's save this as equation number 1. And we can move on. So we can use KVL at loop B. Let's move to this loop then KCL at loop B we will start at this voltage source here the current flows from positive to negative and it will result in positive voltage so I will have 10 volt plus 2 it is resistance though so we need multi we need to multiply it by the loop current so it is IB and then plus this current here so remember IB is going there but also we have loop A that going there so I will have 6 IB minus IA and that will equal to 0 and let's do simple algebra again so I will have 10 plus 2ib plus 6ib minus 6ia and that will equal to 0 and I can move this all of this to the right hand side so I will have 6 no, no, 10 is equal to 6ia minus a i b now oh, let's move the 10 to the right hand side here and we can save this as equation number two so we need to solve this into and this one and we will get i a and i b and let's see what we can do from there and we have this one okay what 
can we do here? Let's just copy it first. So I can multiply this one by four can multiply this by 3 and let's see what we get we get 40 IA minus 24 IB is equal to 48 and then this one is 18 IA minus 24 IB and it will equal to 30 and then we can subtract this one so what do we get here get 22 IA is equal to 18 so IA will equal to divided by 22 it is 0 point this value so we will have this is as IA and for IB what can we do we can substitute this value into one of this equation so I will have then IA minus 6 IB is equal to 12 and I will put this into this is equal to 12 and I will get B. What can we do there? No. We will have minus three point eight one eight is equal to six IB, and what can I get for IB? IB is this value divided by 6 and I will have minus 0 0.6363 ampere so this is IA and IB and we are not we are not asked for IA and IB, but I1, I2, and I3. So let's find the relationship between IA, IB, and I1, I2, and I3. So I1 here. So I1 is the current from this, this positive voltage source to the negative one. So here, but here we have this current loop that going from negative to positive so i1 is just the negative value of ia so what is i1 i1 is negative of this one i will have that value here this is i1 and then i2 here we look at I2, this is the value between IA here, so I2 is value between IA minus IB, so, so I2 is this value down to 
this value minus this value and you so i a is 0 0.8182 minus i b is that one minus 0 0.6363 and this will become positive so plus and I will have I2 is equal to let me use my calculator for that and I will have one point 45 45 ampere and i3 is equal to this current loop so i3 is equal to ib so i3 is this value minus 0.6363 So we, this is our final answer and let me know if you find any mistake in our calculation. Thank you.